After helping Nick Valentine escape from Skinny Malone's crew, you and Nick then go back to Diamond City and talk to each other about your missing son, Sean. Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh Not as back. long as I got a few friends to back you me You saved up. Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Can we get started on my case? Oh, of course. There's just a small clerical thing we need to clear Here. up. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus you know, a little something extra. If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use Whoa. a new partner. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help. All right, us. let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Take a seat. I don't know why. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of you were on cryo ice, facility. Huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through. What else can you take me? one person? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... It's okay. You don't need just... to say anything so more. So we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to Anything resort else to you violence. remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... So we're talking a small team. Professional. Kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the anything else you remember. So. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Good question. Why would anyone take Why him? Why your family in particular? Why an? But he's not a year old. This happened two fucking hundred years ago. Tell them that. This isn't a random kid. Oh wait. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. Uh -huh. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames Easy them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs stripped whole towns for parts, killing then everything got the in their way. Models, good as humans, infiltrate cities and pull strings. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it. What their plan is, or where they are, not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way? I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. 2.5 slips, baby. Hey. Uh, the woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some Maybe sort some of kind metal of brace improvised on armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look hazard tough. Suit is any mercs can afford something that What fancy. else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar Wait. across his left eye. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Well, who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows he who his employer house is. here in town, right? And he had a kid with Yeah, him, that's didn't right. He? The house in the abandoned West Stands. Oh my god, he had a kid. He was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? Both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is Let's still you there. and I take a walk over to Kellogg's land. Let's go. 
see if we can snoop Security out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be I careful. I always am. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. Thank you. When talking to Nick, he brings up a name, Kellogg. You're then curious and you ask about who he is. He says that he came into town a while back and he had a 10-year-old kid with him. You and Nick then go investigate the home in Diamond City that Kellogg used to live at and abandoned. But the thing is, you don't have a key to that house. So you go to the mayor's office and you talk to him about a way you can get into Kellogg's house. The mayor says that he doesn't have a key to everyone's house, but he has one to his because he was suspicious. He hands you the key, then you meet up with Nick and begin to search the house. Oh, there he is. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? Nick Valentine wanted me to see you. Did he now? Some investigation, I assume? You two aren't trying to get me into hot water now, are you? <laughs> I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Please, Mayor McDermott. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need oh, to find him. Of course. I, I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible person. I remember tragedy. Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find But him. I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. I'm trying to, like... Let's head in. You do the honors. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. While searching Kellogg's house, you're looking for a button that you can press to possibly open up a secret compartment. I couldn't find this button, but Twitch chat, thankfully, was there to help me. Oh shit, look at that. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite thing. This man got a fucking rifle. Oh my god, purify water. That was expensive. Uh, there's nothing here. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. He's called my dog a mutt? See if he picks up on the trail now, before you head out. It's an epic streams. <laughs> okay, I know buddy. This is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how hey, high. Do you mind keeping an eye out for a second? Gotta run a diagnostic. <sighs> Thanks. What'd they miss? After finding the secret compartment in Kellogg's house, you then talk to Nick and discuss your findings with him. Nick then says, if you give something that smells like Kellogg to your dog, the dog will be able to sniff him out and figure out where he's hiding. This is where the adventure to find Kellogg starts. Get out of here, Nick. Back in Diamond City. You got anything? All right, sweet. Let's go, let's go, boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I'm a little bit hey. slower than you. You gotta realize that. Not from Quincy. You sell any ointment? This man said you sell any ointment. Okay. 
Okay. After a long journey of fighting ghouls and killing several raiders, you then reach a place that looks like a castle. You destroy the turrets on top and you fight the enemies on the inside. Then you go through these long hallways and then you meet him. You meet Kellogg. There he is. Most resilient man in the Commonwealth. You murdering, kidnapping psychopath. Give me my son. Give me Sean! Right to no. it then, huh? Okay. Your Bye. son Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, it ain't gonna happen, pal. Your boy's not here. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my What's son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away. But don't worry, That's Sean. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah well. So where is it, huh? This institute. How do I get there? Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute you finds open, you. But I think we've been talking. You know. In a hundred. After killing Kellogg, you realize that he's more robot than human, so you go back to Nick Valentine and you discuss your findings. He tells you that you can go visit a doctor called Dr. Amari and go through Kellogg's memories. Science, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private well, affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where the he Institute? told me they have Sean? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more you complicated. kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know no how to No synth it. does. Security protocols strip those memories out. You don't know anything, then? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated True by enough. everyone. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing Where the Institute really knows. actually is. Or how to exactly. get in. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who Hello. just handed them Sean. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? He's dead, Nick. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need You're the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutine? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the if day they happen. Anyone can get a dead brain to sing. It'll be Doctor Amari. The mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Romari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Mm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out Jesus, if this is going to Nick, work. Jesus, gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump-started. 
see what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing. Cybernetics, huh? Head. We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more uh, well, steps. Well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public. Opinion. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. You then venture on to a city called Good Neighbor to meet Dr. Amari. Upon entering Good Neighbor, someone threatens you and tells you you need insurance to walk around. As he says that, the mayor of Good Neighbor comes around the corner. His name's Hancock. He then tells the guy that he shouldn't treat new guests like that, and he stabs him and kills him right in front of you, then apologizes for his rude manners. Neighbor, you can't go walking around without insurance. better back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. Well, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now, I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? You, you're a ghoul? That's right. Like my face. I think it gives me a sexy King of the Zombies kind of look. Big hit with the Listen, ladies. a lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. So you might want to keep those kinds of questions on the low burner. Good next neighbors time. of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this? That's place? right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere You'll else. See. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Here for Amari, she's downstairs. Irma. Whatever you and Nick are up to, I don't need to know. Just don't let the big metal softy hurt himself. All right? Damn, she thick. Damn, boy. Dr. She Amari? Thick. Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain. Normally, I... we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's we this need a about? deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already Are cold you on the mad? floor. Are you putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse? You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. Fine. And so do I'll we. Take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? After talking to Dr. Amari, you then go into the mind of Kellogg. Just need to confirm. Come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? 
This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minim the new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple, smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. My exposure to civilians is Forget priority. I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Names, Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. The heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute. They teleport. There is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. As soon as you're ready. <laughs> 